Welcome back guys. Today we will be continuing ordinary differential equation. Today we will be seeing rules of solving particular integral rule number 3. So that is when x equals to x to the power m then we can write that f of d is equals to 1 plus plus minus phi of d. So we have to apply we have to expand up to the term d to the power m by applying binomial theorem so to remember binomial theorem I will just write this important thing so this we can write like this and the binomial expansion is like this and so on and for 1 minus x this will be 1 minus x hold by minus 1 this will be plus all the terms will be plus so let us see an example so we can understand this so example solve d square minus 5d plus 1 y is equals to x square so solution first we will find the cf cf will be given as the homogeneous corresponding homogeneous equation now we need to put y is equals to t power mx so dy will be m e to the power mx d2y will be e m square e to the power mx now we will just put the values in the original equation we get m square e to the power mx minus 5 m e to the power mx plus m e to the power e to the power mx that is equals to 0 this will be m square minus 5m plus 1 that will be equals to 0 uh, this will not get factorized so we need to use the HIA formula minus b plus minus b square minus 4ac so this will be 2 and this m will turn out to be 5 plus minus root under 2i root under 2 uh, sorry root under 21 this will be 2 so so the solution will be solution of cf that is y equal to a e to the power 5 plus 21 root under 21 by 2 x plus b e to the power 5 minus root 21 by 2 x now we need to find the pi so pi is given by y is equals to 1 by original equation was d square minus 5d plus 1 times x square so for first we will convert this in this form either this or these two forms so this will be 1 by this will be 1 plus d square minus 5d so this will be x square this will be x square now 1 plus d square minus 5d whole to the power minus 1 x square now we will use the binomial expansion of this so this will be 1 minus d square minus 5d here this is our x term now plus x square will only expand up to the power of m so m it will get expanded up to m after that all the terms will be 0 because derivative of x square after third derivative of x square will be 0 so times x square now we will just multiply this so x square minus d square x square plus 5d x square plus 25d square x square so this will be x square now 2 times derivative x square will be 2 now this will be 10x and this will be 50 so this will be x square plus 10x plus 48 
so general solution that is y is equals to a e to the power